Want to learn SQL fast without needing any technical skills or long, complicated software installs to get started? With these three SQL tutorials, I'll show you how you can get up and running in SQL right now. Hey, it's Vanessa and this is Data Savvy TV. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. On this channel, I provide you with tips, resources, and tutorials about data analytics, including different places. You can learn these types of skills for free. So if you're interested in more videos like this one, consider subscribing. By the end of this video, you'll know the three interactive SQL tutorials and which is best for your goals with data and SQL training. I'll also talk about a free data analytics guide that covers multiple topics and how you can get your copy for free. So how can you learn SQL fast? There's a free online learning platform that helps you learn to code. It has guided lessons and an interactive web interface where you can type directly into your web browser. You're given a set of steps and instructions to complete SQL queries. This resource is called Code Academy. Let's go there together inside my computer. So if you want to go to that site with me, open a new tab in your web browser by hitting Control T on your keyboard or Command T if you're on a Mac. That will keep this video going so you can still hear me. The spelling is a little tricky, so enter code, C-O-D-E, Academy, C-A-D-E-M-Y, dot com. To see the courses, you'll have to create a login, but for now, let's just come back to my video and check out these courses now. So Code Academy offers three tracks for learning SQL. Learn SQL, SQL Table Transformation, and SQL Analyzing Business Metrics. The first SQL track in Code Academy, Learn SQL, teaches you the basic keywords used to create a query. It shows you how to use select, from, and use math functions like sum, min, average, these are all called aggregate functions, and how to join data from multiple tables. So if you already started looking into SQL, you might have heard some of these terms but they're fundamental and something that you want to master. In the next course, SQL Table Transformations, you build on the skills that you learned in the first course, and you're introduced to concepts like subqueries, unions, conditional case statements, and working with dates, numbers, and strings, or text. When you go through this mo module, a good tip is that for question one, there's a database schema under your results and you'll want to take a screenshot of that for later questions. It's much easier to write a query when you know the column names and table names and have those handy. SQL Analyzing Business Metrics teaches you how to create key performance indicators, or KPIs, for a fictitious video game company. You'll apply the SQL knowledge you've learned and learn to analyze data and extract meaning from that data. So of course all of these courses are free, but you'll see something in, in Codecademy called Codecademy Pro, which allows you access to extra things like quizzes, projects, and mentoring. Codecademy Pro is $19.99 a month. So I recommend that you don't upgrade, just exhaust all of the free lessons first, and if you decide that you'd like a little bit more, then you can consider upgrading to a Pro account. Overall, I think this is a really great place to start getting familiar with SQL statements, especially keywords and structure, and try some advanced options like subqueries, using conditions, using advanced aggregate functions, and start to get familiar with typing SQL code. There are also two articles on the Codecademy site that you should check out. There's one called the Different Relational Database Management Systems. It goes over all the different ones that are out there and another one on commonly used SQL commands. And I'll go ahead and link those both in the YouTube description below. So be sure to watch for future videos from me walking through all of the lessons in these courses. I'll link up a playlist in the top right corner as those videos become available. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there's a data analytics guide I've put together. It has 10 re free resources on it where you can start learning topics like R, data visualization, tableau, statistics, and the data management process. And even if you don't know what all those topics are, you can still benefit from this guide. So to get your copy, go to datasavvytv.com and click on top 10 resources in the corner. 
So now I have a question for you. What are your biggest challenges when it comes to learning code in SQL? Let me know in the comment section below and any other questions you may have. So thank you for joining me here on Data Savvy TV. If this was valuable to you, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and grab the share link for this video and send it to someone who could also benefit from it. Until next time, keep learning, keep building up your skills, and stay pumped about data analytics. I'll link up a playlist in the top <laughs> left corner. Is it the left? This is a great place to start learning all of those things. Mm-hmm. <laughs>